Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMoran. What you're looking at is my post, or part of my post, from March 29th, 2011. And if you just found my YouTube channel, uh, you'd be able to go up to my uh, prophecy site, which is BibleProphecyMan.com, and you'll be able to download my book today for free by clicking this link. But let me get right into it. I showed you on March 29th, uh, is is Zechariah 12:3, and that scripture tells us it's a warning as well as Joel chapter 3 verse 2 a warning that God was going to destroy anybody that messed around with Israel essentially and uh, anybody it, of course Zechariah tells me and tells the readers that the anybody that burdened themselves over Jerusalem will be cut into pieces you see that in this scripture right here and then Joel chapter 3 verse 2 tells us that uh, anybody who tries to divide Israel up or divide the land, you'll see it, uh, will be destroyed. Jeho Jehoshaphat is where the judgment will take place, a uh, valley of judgment. And uh, so we know that anybody who messes with Israel, Jerusalem, the Jewish people, that there's a curse against anybody who comes against Israel. And I know that that's not a popular statement, but that's the truth if you believe in Christ, if you believe in the Bible, if you believe in the Lord God, which I do, and I know that, and I've seen the product of the curse falling on nations and people that come against Israel. And so when it comes to Barack Obama, the President of the United States, he says he has Israel's back, but in actuality he doesn't. And in this post I showed you a couple ex examples of it when he said that he had Israel's back, well, there was a video that I put up showing that they would, the Obama administration wouldn't even allow the spokeswoman to say that Jerusalem was the capital of Israel. Not only that, but just a week prior, Israel uh, was uh, privy to the fact that Barack Obama, who has their back, gave Egypt, who is now their enemy, 1.3 billion dollars in military aid and uh, this is definitely not something that is a uh, an indication of a friend would do to to Israel so we can see signs of really what Obama meant by I got your back now let me get into another one because this I'm gonna add some more information here this is the news that came out yesterday Israelis Obama leaked intel to prevent U.S. from attacking Iran. Now, if this man claims to be a Christian man, which I highly doubt, uh, either there's two things here. Either he knows nothing about Scripture and therefore is acting out in ignorance, or he knows Scripture, but he doesn't care because he's really not a Christian and he's a Muslim. Now, it's going to be either one or the other. So, what does he do? Now, we know the signs of what a real Christians are, because the, the scriptures tell us you'll know them by their fruits. In other words, what they do, how they live their life, uh, what comes out of their mouth, do they show it? Uh, if they say that they're true Christians, do they abide in the Lord? Do they do, do they do the bidding of the Lord? If the Lord said, stay away from messing around with Israel, do you do that? Well, in this case, obviously, this man is not doing that. What he's done is he's actually shown influence towards Iran. And in this case, this is what this news report said from ABC News out of Jerusalem. Two reports today about Iran's nuclear program and the possibility of an Israeli military strike have analysts in Israel accusing the Biden administration leaking information to pressure Israel not to bomb Iran and for Iran to reach a compromise in the upcoming nuclear talks. Now, he's saying this to the guy who thinks that he is uh, a prophet, that he was born to bring chaos to eliminate Israel. And yet this man is, according to these reports, leaking information that is harmful to Israel. And you'll see what he's leaking. It says, the first report in foreign policy quotes anonymous American officials saying that Israel has been given access to air bases by Iran's northern neighbor 
Azerbaijani from which Israel could launch airstrikes or at least drones and search and rescue aircraft. So that was, you know, they're telling them, hey, look, the people are on your northern borders, Iran, so pay attention. This is definitely not a friend of Israel if they did leak this. The second report from Bloomberg, based on a uh, leaked congressional report, said that Iran's nuclear facilities are so uh, dispersed that it is unclear what the ultimate effect of a strike would be. A strike could delay Iran as uh, delay Iran as little as six months, a former official told the researchers. So here you have two cases where Barack Obama may be leaking these efforts. Why would he do this? Well, it's very obvious. The man is going to be running for election, and if he finds Israel attacks Iran and there's war, it's going to make him look bad. So he's doing whatever he wants to do to try to hold up so that he can be elected. He cares nothing about what happens to Israel, that's for sure. And if he did, obviously we wouldn't see him do the things that we've been seeing him do, including not recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, but also, we wouldn't see him trying to work with the Arabs, trying to separate or split up the land of Israel like he's doing. We got, your, we got the message, President Obama, where you stand with Israel. And uh, the, the more and more news that I read, the further I see your hand going into the back of Israel. I pray that you would listen and read. If you're really a, a, a Christian, as you said, President Obama, maybe you just don't know Scripture. And I'm praying that if you don't know Scripture, somebody would get to you and show you Zechariah 12.3 and Joel 3.2. And I'm praying that when you read that, if you are a real Christian, you will back off, take the knife out of God's people's back and support them fully. And then, and only then, will you see the United States being blessed. Up until then, Genesis chapter 12, we see the curse from anybody that comes against Israel. And obviously, that's exactly what you're doing.